testosterone, estrogen, are targeted specifically by some of the most prevalent plasticizers. Dr. Swan, you are one of the leading experts on the impacts of environmental chemicals on reproductive health. Can you explain to us how chemicals and plastics can mimic our hormones and impact fertility and children's health? This is a big topic, right? <clears throat> but one of the key features of chemicals in plastic, the ones we're concerned about, the plasticizers, um, is that they <clears throat> have the ability to affect the body's hormones. When you say hormones, you're immediately talking about something that the re reproductive system is very sensitive to. And those hormones, the ones that people most are aware of, testosterone, estrogen, are targeted specifically by some of the most prevalent plasticizers. Testosterone is lowered by chemicals in phthalates, for example, um, and phthalates make plastic soft and flexible like a soft water bottle or a plastic tube that, for example, goes into a baby in a NICU. On the other side, I think of these as evil twins, <laughs> the phthalates and the bisphenols, because one is, makes plastic soft and lowers testosterone, one makes plastic hard and raises estrogen. Okay, so there's these, both of these key hormones, steroid hormones that govern reproduction from your menstrual cycle, your menopause, your pregnancy, the whole thing is out of whack when these chemicals are entering the body and disturbing those hormones. And what that means is that these hormones are produced by a gland in the body, sent to a place where they're gonna do an action. And that action is interfered with in many, many ways. So whether it's there's less of it traveling, it goes to the wrong place, it's, it's so on and so forth, but they're not doing their job. And if these hormones are not doing their job, we are not reproductively healthy. Thank you for breaking it down for us. It's shocking to know how prevalent these chemicals are, how pervasive they are in our daily lives, despite the known health risks that you have just described.